Hi everyone, I hope you're well. In today's video, I'm gonna take you behind the scenes with me on Nicola and Dowie's engagement shoot, which we're going to do on the Jurassic Coast, which is the south coast of England, at a place called Durdledore, which I know sounds completely made up, but I promise is a real place. I've never been there before, but it looks absolutely incredible, so I can't wait to get there. The only downside is it's five hours away, so <laughs> best get driving. So after five hours driving, I finally arrived. The good news is it looks amazing views wise. So this is my first view of everything. It's incredible. Downside is, I've not even got to the beach yet. It is really, really busy. And there's a lot of people about, I assume all heading towards the beach as I am, which is not surprising bearing in mind, it's 35 degrees today. It's a really, really warm day, which is good for an engagement shoot obviously, but the downside is it is going to make taking portraits a little bit harder because there's going to be people everywhere, I suspect. But we'll see how we get on. So as always with engagement shoots, I've arrived around an hour before I'm due to meet up with Nicola and Dowie, just to have a look around and say, I've never been here before, so I want to get my bearings a little bit and then I will go and meet them. So I'm gonna head down now towards the beach, <laughs> following the masses of people. And we will, we'll see how we get on. Just walking down the beach now and I'm leaving behind me a trail of people who are all who are all stopping on the walk back up. Clearly the walk back up is not fun. Oh it does look very, very busy. Yeah, this walk back in the 35 degrees heat, uphill, <laughs> back to the car. Thought if you've met the couple, it's not gonna be fun. <laughs> So definite good news and bad news. I'm now stood in front of Durdledore. The good news is it is amazing. It's absolutely stunning. This is a World Heritage Site and you can see why. The downside is, it's not what you want to see on an engagement shoe. It is absolutely packed. We are still technically supposed to be social distancing. There's none of that going on whatsoever, either on the beach or on this walk up here just absolutely rammed. So this is gonna be a tester. All I'm hoping is at the moment, it is half three in the afternoon. I'd like to be on the beach, something like half six, 7 p.m. So hopefully by then, this scene here will be much, much quieter. Time to keep our fingers crossed. <laughs> Okay, so I finished admiring the view. It is beautiful, look at that. But now it's time for the exciting bit, going off to meet Nicola and David. So sorry for interrupting this video, but just before I show you behind the scenes of the shoot, unfortunately, I don't have as much behind the scenes as I would have wanted because sadly, right at the very end of the shoot, I somehow managed to lose my GoPro, which is one of the cameras that I have on my main camera recording the behind the scenes footage. I did take a little video clip on my phone for Instagram at the very end of the shoot as Nicola and Dowd were in the water. And in this video, I can see that the GoPro was still attached to my camera, but I have no idea what happened to it after that. And at the end of this video, you'll see me in my hotel room talking talking about the shoot. At that point, I still hadn't realized that I didn't have the GoPro. But after I recorded that, I started to download my memory card and that's when I realized. I then looked everywhere for it, but no luck. The more I then thought about what could possibly have happened to it, the more I started to become convinced that it could 
still be on the beach. So <laughs> at 2.30 a.m. I started driving the two hours back to Durdledore to see if I could find it, but unfortunately I couldn't. I always knew it was gonna be a long shot, but yeah, I, I couldn't find it. But I felt happier knowing that I'd at least tried. I spent about half an hour on the beach in the pitch black using my phone as a torch, but, but I say it wasn't there. So I then drove two hours back to my hotel and got back to the hotel about 7 a.m. <laughs> before then having a little sleep and then driving three hours back home. The point of all this is that I don't have as much behind the scenes as usual and I just wanted to explain to you why that was. So sorry about that, but on with the rest of the video. Truth is, I'm scared cause when I see you coming All I wanna do is tell you that I love you I know you're better off without me cause your tears stay I make it dark out when you're around me Like a needle lost in the sand The ink dried in my hand It's unthinkable Like a bird that never learned to fly I shouldn't ask you to try Something but second chances and i know that i'm not perfect and this probably sounds really selfish but i hate that i'm not with you i just wish that i could tell you that my this time is the truth i lost the trust i understand but do i have to be that man it's unthinkable but
Bauch. So I've just got to the hotel now. I'm absolutely exhausted. I think it's probably the most tired you will ever see me on this channel. I left Nicola and David around three hours ago. And I've just got to my hotel now, which is half the way home. So yeah, I'm absolutely exhausted, but it's all been worth it. I can't thank Nicola and David enough. They've been so, so good to work with and I can't wait for their wedding next year in Poland. If today's anything to go by, it's going to be incredible. The enthusiasm that they had for today's shoot was just amazing, and I totally fed off that. I've never had a couple go into the water before, not just any water, into the sea, twice. <laughs> Two different occasions they did that, and it was just so much fun uh, working with them. They, they were just so enthusiastic, so lovely to speak to, and I say, I can't wait for next year. Their wedding in Poland is going to be immense. <laughs> Bring on 2021. But anyway, I'm gonna stop waffling now because I feel absolutely exhausted. I need to get in the shower and then go straight to sleep because I can barely keep my eyes open. But thank you very much again for watching today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.